out on St George's Basin, just off Sanctuary Point. Uh, there's not a lot of wind. It was a bit earlier, but um, got out a bit late. Pigeon House Mountain there in the distance. There's the boat ramp over there. It's actually quite warm for a winter's afternoon. Sun's getting a bit low, so I don't want to be out here for too long. Okay, straight ahead there is uh, Wrights Beach. Um, over to the left is Brim Beach, and then down there is Emerald Bay. Got a little bit of wind just now, just behind me. Had to pull the centre board up about halfway because I hit the bottom. Pretty shallow in here. And that's where I've come from. out fishing. It's quite busy at the boat ramp. There was a lot of, uh, there's only one spot in the in the main section when I got there. A lot of people fishing. It's a long weekend here. There's Wrights Beach behind me here and Brim Beach and Errol Bay over there. down at Sanctuary Point boat ramp. Uh, that's the car on the trailer. It's taken me a bit over an hour to get from arrival to on the water and rigged. So I've rigged with one reef. Let's see how we go. Okay, rigged and ready. So it's pretty calm in here. Probably not so calm out there. Anyway, let's see how we go. Okay, kind of hove to, not really, still moving a bit. But anyway, um, that's a bit of a problem. The jib gets caught whenever I try to hove to. Um, let's see here, still moving a little bit. Wind's coming over my left shoulder. Okay. Not quite stopped, but going pretty slow. There's St George's Basin. Sussex Inlet is way over there in the distance somewhere. And also way in the distance is Pigeon House Mountain. So the wind's pretty, uh, pretty good out here. Um, at the uh, at the shore, sheltered by the uh, by the boat ramp. So I'm feeling uh, kind of comfortable sitting here doing this. Um, as you can see, I've got the reef in. Had a young fellow at the uh, at the boat ramp wanting to see me sail off. I don't know whether he did or not. It took me a while. It took me about an hour to get, or a bit over an hour to get out here from when I arrived at the boat ramp. But um, yeah, he was very interested and uh, asked him if he was going to sail one day and he said, yep, when I'm older. So I think he was probably, oh, I guess, three or four, I suppose. Um, but very keen. Uh, the, I assume it was probably his grandmother looking after him. Uh, she asked straight away if the, if the boat was a heron and I said, yep with pride and uh, she said she used to sail um, yeah, what did she say? Manly 16s I think she said. 
Anyway, I'm heading slowly across here, supposedly hove to, but I'm actually just sailing slowly uh, across to Booteri, Booteri National Park. So, quite nice sitting here, gently moving along. So this is nice. So, but um, I can feel that wind is pretty good. So, uh, I might have a go at sailing, put the camera down, and concentrate on what I'm doing, so I don't, don't end up going for a swim. Okay, so I'm almost across the other side. So good, steady breeze. Not too many dramas. So I'm thinking that um, sail shape's not too bad. Need to uh, tighten that tube though. Maybe get some hanks to put on that forestay. Telltales are flying. So I'm not going to stay out too long because even though it's quite nice now, the forecast is for a bit of rain and a thunderstorm. So it's probably a bit of a gust with what I'm doing. Um, um, yeah, so it's supposed to be a bit of rain coming and it looks like it is, so I'm gonna pack and work my way back. Lovely out here. Okay, well I'm heading back. Those clouds aren't looking great. So, not going particularly quickly at the moment. Still a gentle breeze, steady breeze. Um, got a bit windier as I was coming across. Just gently sailing back across the basin. So I was talking to my neighbour. He's got a little sailboat that he hasn't sailed very much, so trying to encourage him to get out. Apparently he used to sail across over to there and have um, have lunch with his wife over at Bootery there. So, something to plan for. And also back over there at um, Wright's Beach and Brim Beach is quite nice. We used to go over there quite a lot. Over there and had some lunch on the beach, go for a swim. It's quite sandy over there, um, whereas out the front of my place it's very weedy, mangroves. So. Speed up now, wind's picking up, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Come out again just as I'm heading back. Well, I made it back. 
So the cross was good, and what I'd pictured in my mind was the perfect Lee Shaw landing turned into a debacle. Definitely need to work on my landings, because that was not good. <laughs>